We all know the benefits of increasing hip stability. Okay, the ACL, to decrease ACL injuries in all sports or in just life itself, you want deep stabilizing mechanisms to engage properly, especially deep inside the pelvis. All right, think about the glute medius. The glute medius is responsible for that. So how do we strengthen the glute medius? By doing lateral tube walks, okay, or kinetic chain tube walk. I don't know what you call it or what you see, but those tube walks without rocking, okay, there's two cups of water in my hand. I'm going back and forth nice and smooth. Whether the resistance is yellow, blue, green, black, etc. What we're going to do now is we're going to utilize the inertia wave as part of our metabolic conditioning device, and we're going to put two forms of resistance. And we're going to do this on both sides. So now I have resistance on the center of balance, okay, the umbilicus or center of gravity. I also have one around my ankle. I'm going to utilize the inertia wave. And I go through different movement patterns with the inertia wave as I walk laterally. Again, this is more for hip stability to activate the glute medius as I go through these motions. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Changing it up. Slow and controlled. It's not about moving fast here. It's about getting that glute medius to engage, to stabilize all the intersegmental muscles as well. Just another way to engage deep muscles of the hip to work the glute medius, a strong glute medius and strong stabilizers of the hip will decrease any accumulative process when it comes to ACL injuries in sports or human life itself. The inertia wave is fun, it's motivating, it's new, and it has really perfected metabolic conditioning.